Hi, this is Ingrid Dinter, ingriddinter.com. I'm an accredited certified EFT master trainer. And today would like to work with you on a fear of social media. Social media is so unpredictable. People we don't even know leave their comments. They tell us what they think. They tell others what they think. And it's kind of out of our hands once we become more famous, once we become more known, what people say about us. And that can be downright scary. However, in today's world, it's a necessity to embrace social media and to kind of just deal with the negative sides of it without letting it eat us up and stop us in our tracks. So I encourage you just tap along on the points where I'm tapping. And whenever I make a break after a statement, just repeat the statement I made before. Tune into any tension you may feel in your body when you think about being on social media and being commented on and people either forwarding your things or not commenting at all, either the dead silence or the all hell breaks loose situation. And um, let's just get started and see where you end up. So karate chop point, which is here halfway between the base, the base of your pinky finger and your wrist, even though I have this fear of being on social media. All sorts of strangers are commenting on me. They tell me what they think. They tell others what, others what they think. And sometimes they're downright rude. And I'm really afraid of how that will impact me in the future. But I'm going to love and embrace my path. And even though I have this fear of being on social media, of people hearing and seeing me in a completely different way. Of strangers making comments and laughing at me or saying hurtful things or saying nothing at all, even if I thought I was good. And I'm just going to embrace and understand this fear with kindness and compassion. And even though I'm not sure if I have a thick enough skin to get through this, it is a big deal for me. I'm just going to accept this challenge in a way that works for me. I'm not sure if I can get through this. Do I have a thick enough skin? They're going to say things that I may not like. And it's visible out in the open for everybody to see. That really scares me. It really scares me. Strangers will be making comments. And there is nothing I can do about it. So I have this fear of social media and people's comments that I cannot control. Take a breath. How did that sit with you? All right. So let's do another round. I wonder if it has to be this way. I wonder if everybody's comment is going to be miserable. What if people are really nice? What if they love what I have to say? What if they encourage me to keep going and keep sharing? What if they tell me that they want to have more? What if, I, if they see that I'm truly authentically myself? And I'm really trying to reach out and help others more than I ever have. It would be wonderful to hear from wonderful people. And those who criticize me, I might invite for a dialogue. Maybe I can learn why they criticize me in the most constructive and positive way that I ever had an opportunity to do. So the people who cheer me on will be very welcomed. 
and those with criticism I can get back to. Maybe I can learn from this if they're really right and continue to improve and continue to grow. Maybe I can even get clients who used to be my biggest critics by reaching out and talking to them in a way that works to the, for them and say, hey, thank you for that comment. I really appreciated you taking the time. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions because I can see that you have a point. And what if that feedback from social media, at least some of it, enough of it, was the input that I need to grow in a magnificent way for my own benefit to reach more people, to get out there even bigger, to create a tribe of raving fans for my message and do what's really right for me and what's right for them. I'm thankful. I'm grateful for the feedback I will be getting. I feel wonderful about receiving feedback from strangers and now having a door to connecting to even more. What an amazing opportunity. What a wonderful thing to have. I'm so grateful that I took the courage to ignore my fear of social media and instead start to communicate with so many new people. And I'm very grateful for my exciting life. Take a deep breath. And notice how that changed and shifted you now. If you feel that you need another round of tapping on this, just go back to the beginning and do the same process again. This is Ingrid Dinter, ingriddinter.com. And please send me an email. I would love to hear from you.